What's up guys, this is your boy Jay from Jay's Films and today what we're going to do is um, calibrate your Panasonic GH5S to this light meter here. Try and focus it. Okay, it's a Siconic L358. Now this is usually a stills photography light meter, but what the heck, we can use this with videos too, right? So uh, light meters are really cool, but the problem is most likely out of the box they are not calibrated with your specific cameras because all cameras are different so what we're going to do today is calibrate this light meter with the Panasonic GH5S which I am recording in right now so the first thing we're going to do is just set our ISO with the same ISO as the camera which is at 800 so here chain ISO about 800 as you can see there in the top right corner Right? And we're going to try and meter this uh, great card here. You're obviously going to need a great card because it's just easier that way when you're measuring later on in post. So let's go ahead and meter. Oh, clear that, me. reset it real quick. All right, so the meter says at F4.5, that should be your middle gray. So we're going to go ahead and tune in F4.5 in our camera. All right, now just a reminder when you're calibrating your light meter with your camera, you got to make sure that you're not shooting in log. And if you are shooting in log, make sure that your monitor Rec 709 is on because if you try to match your light meter to your log, it doesn't make sense because log is flat. So the camera says that 150 of a second f4.5 at ISO 800 is the perfect exposure for this scene. Well, that's really up to you, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go in post and take a look and move this thing around to kind of let the camera know and the light meter know where middle gray is for you. Now, it's, in my opinion, it's a good idea to calibrate your light meter to your skin tone so that every time you meter a face, you have that perfect light on the skin. So that's what we're going to try and do today in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. What's up guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We're about to take a look at that footage we shot upstairs with a great card, so here we are in DaVinci. Uh, go ahead, right there. We're gonna go to color. We're gonna go to control, shift W. And we're gonna apply a LUT, which is the same LUT we had in camera, which is just a regular Rec. 709 LUT. And there you go. Now, we use a great card because you can clearly see it in the waveform. But if you want to isolate it, we can do that too. You can even see it better. So click on this, Shift H. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to click on this button here, and we're going to show the power window so you can see where the power window is. And now you can even see it clearer. It's at 256. So according to the light meter, the gray area right now with the Panasonic GH5S, the default setting for it is at 256 IRE, which in my opinion is a little bit too low. So let's say you have a person and you light meter the person, the subject, their skin tone is gonna be right around here, which I think that's pretty low. So what we're gonna do is go back upstairs, adjust some settings and come back into Venture Resolve to see if we did anything. Okay guys, so we're back upstairs. We have the Panasonic GH5S and the light meter. So when in the DaVinci Resolve, we figured out that the default setting of this light meter is way too dark for the, for the Panasonic GH5S. So what we're gonna do is change the setting here to our taste, okay? So what we're gonna do is click or hold the ISO 1 and ISO 2 together like this. And you should see something like adjust 0, 0.0 and since it was too dark. What we're gonna do is move this jog wheel here and go to the negative. We're gonna go to negative one for now and see what that looks like. Now, if your camera was, was too bright, then you're gonna go the opposite way to the positive. And what you're gonna do is just play around the settings until you find that sweet spot for your camera because like I said, each camera, they're all different when it comes to exposure and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go back to DaVinci Resolve to see what we did with that change. As you can see, it says 3.2 now. So we're going to change the camera, or if you want, you can go ahead and light meter again. 
and now it's not gonna change. So it's gonna say 3.2. So what we're gonna do is change the exposure on the camera to 3.2, 800 ISO, and 58 of a shutter. Ooh, other way. Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna go get this clip here, which is the thing we shot. Now we're gonna scroll up after we remetered it. Now this is at 3.2. We're gonna apply the same LUT we did. Should be the Rec. 709. And here we go. Let's go ahead and isolate this as well. Click the power window. Perfect. And I think I zoom, I focused it. There it goes. It's a little bit better. So now we raised it by going negative one in the light meter. So right now it's at almost 384 ish. So we're doing the right thing by racing up the uh, the gray card by doing a negative adjustment on the light meter. So we're getting really close. So I think what I'm gonna do is just maybe adjust it to a negative 1.2 and call it a day because that's where I want my skin tones to be. But it's totally up to you where you want your gray card or your skin tone to be. So you can mess around with a light meter to find that sweet spot. I hope you guys learned something new today and I'll talk to you guys later.